So what is the automation section? The many chat automation section is where you can, you want to set up all of the, the basic settings. So the main menu, you're going to have a certain menus. Um, if you're in real estate, you might have like for one for buyer sellers and about us. Um, in my case, I have a, a free offer to my, my business in a box. Uh, I'm probably going to be changing this, but if you see over here, let me move my photo here on the right hand side, it, it has a picture of your phone and what the main menus would be. So you can set it up. So it says maybe about us, maybe services, what you offer. Um, and then maybe questions if someone has questions. So this one is actually not a, mine is not a very good <laughs> example. Let me go into one of my friends here. She has a good main menu. Let's see right here, automation. So her main menu, she has her podcast. She has um, the different uh, subcategories under listen to the podcast if they want to listen to it in different options as you can see here and then a link to her website. So that's a good, good example. Uh, the default reply. So I mentioned before, if someone is messaging you something and you're like, uh, it didn't understand what you were saying, then this is what it would reply back saying, you know, the name of the page. Oh, Meg, you know, Meg uh, typically replies in a day. If you want to, you know, want to ask her something, just press talk to a human. It will message her saying someone, you know, messaged and, you know, basically it's a default reply. So you can create this to say whatever you want it to say. You can also have a, a welcome message. The welcome message will, will trigger after someone gets started. Once they go to your page, they get started. And then this is the welcome series that she has set up. Um, there is also one other thing I'm going to skip to actually, I'm going to go down to settings because this is something that people miss is the greeting text. So this is actually the message before they even get into your welcome message. So if I go to my um, company's page, let's see. Oops, I'm spelling wrong. So I go to my company's page and before you go to the getting started section, when someone clicks um, send message or maybe you're new to the page, there, you might see like a message that'll come up and um, sorry, it's all kinds of stuff. When you're an admin, you get to see everything. <laughs> And it might not show me since I've already messaged like several times to myself <laughs> as a test, but the, oh, okay, that's not gonna work. Let me go to another page that I'm not an admin to. Tony Robbins actually has a cool one. So this is the greeting text now again. So um, let's see, send message. So the greeting text is what I think said here is right here where it says get started right before it says get started. It says, hi, Stacia. It knows who I am already because I'm logged in and then it has a welcome message. And to create this message for this, you know, to show up, that's where to go is the settings here. So how to create your many chat greeting text. So the greeting text is done here in the settings under greeting text. So if you're in ManyChat, you go down to settings and you go to greeting text and you want to actually, this is one of the first things that you want to edit. So you can put in hi and then put their name and the way to put their name in there is you click these two dots or these parentheses here next to the number and that's how you create the name. So if I were to take this out, I would say hi. And then I would put in, click on that, and it gives you a drop down of you know, all these different options. I just put the first name, comma, and then I paste in what I wanted it to say. And then it, you know, you know, you can put that in, and that's how it looks. You can click see how it looks, and it'll show you um, this, something like this. So if you someone goes to your page and opens up your met you know your sends says click send the message then you get, they get this message and right there in the gray text is where that is set up i did have a problem one time where the it was it wasn't triggering for some reason 
And so I had to delete it. Um, and it was something to do with the first name for some reason. Like the first name wasn't showing up and or it wasn't showing up exactly how I had it. So I had to delete it and re-add it. So it's a little buggy sometimes. And I just wanted to mention that because that's an issue that I had before. So if you ever run into that as well. So you can do that. That's the first thing you want to do when you want to create a um, greeting text inside of ManyChat for your chat bot. So let's see. We talked about automation, the main menu, the default reply, welcome message. Um, oh, we didn't talk about the welcome message. So the welcome message, so the welcome message is different than your, your greeting text. Or oh, I guess I did talk about that. And so I just wanted to show you the differences there. I talked about that in, the, in, the, in, in another video. So the welcome message is something that happens after you go through that greeting text. So you so go to your, someone goes to your web, your Facebook page, they see the greeting text, they click getting started, and then they go through this welcome series. Well, in my friends, I actually created hers and we kind of, you know, collaborated together here, Meg. She's a Facebook advertising um, person. And so I, we go, go to her basic builder flow. It looks kind of crazy, but um, let me see if I can make the page bigger because I made it smaller earlier. So basically it's kind of crazy, but what it goes into is her photo. It goes into a little bit about her and let me go into it here. It goes into about her and it tells you, explains, you know, um, hey, you know, and it, she kind of gives you a little rundown about what she does. Um, and a little bio about her and then what you, you know, what brings you here today and it gives you a couple options. Just like I said on, on, um, on, on the phone, right? Hi, welcome to Metro PCS. How can I help you here? You know, if you'd like to check your bill, want to pay your bill, blah, blah, blah. You want more information about your rate plan? Press one, press two, press five. Well, that's what many chat or in the chat box, you know, is going to do support your clients and customers and help you get more leads and um, you know support them so you have these options and when someone clicks these options they go into more information about her blog about her podcast things like that keywords so let me go ahead and and keep going on this overview the next section is keywords so in this section many chat keywords the keywords is basically set so there are two things that are automatically set so start and stop or unsubscribe or subscribe. So when someone starts or they go into your, your many chat series, if someone doesn't want to get your series anymore, someone can, can just type stop or unsubscribe if they want to start the series for some reason um, or they want to subscribe to something that you have. They can also, it's automatically set as a rule here. This is the same thing as is um I don't even know how it happens, but I don't know about you guys, but I get these text messages uh, with text message marketing, and sometimes I don't even know how they got my phone number, but I get subscribed to something, and I just click, I just text back stop, and then I'll get a message back that says you're unsubscribed. So I don't know if you know that you can do that, and um, you can do this as well. This is what happens with your many chat. So you can stop and unsubscribe, and then you have other things that you can create that will trigger. If you have people who are automatically, you notice they're saying the same things over and over, or they're asking the same questions, or they're responding with similar words, you can create a keyword to respond or um, you know answer back with the correct responses in this section as the keyword. So in her section, she put blue or um, verified or verify. If someone asks a question about verification, uh, or the blue check, then she has a response that will go to them. Sequences. Sequences are a um, sequence that you want to put someone through. So in email marketing, you have your broadcast, like I shared with you before in ManyChat. There's a section that for broadcasting. So this is very similar to the follow-up series uh, in an email marketing campaign. So a, it's not a broadcast, it's a follow-up series. So you can actually have someone who maybe subscribes to your bot, and then they will also be um, subscribed to a series of sequences of emails that, or messages in, in chat bots that they would get. So that's what sequences are. It's also very similar to 
your flow. So the flows are different. Um, let me scroll down here. Oh, the rules. I skipped over rules. Let's see. What, this is not something that we really, uh, I guess if this is kind of something new. I'm going to skip over that because it's, it's for custom um, rules. So if this, then that kind of thing, but um, you probably won't need that right now. Flows are um, basically kind of like the draft. So I create a lot of my drafts or I'll get different flows and series for the different opt-in messages, keyword sequences, welcome messages, all inside of flow. So basically in flow, I create these, um, it's, the reason why they call it flow is that you have these flow of emails. So it's kind of like a sequence where you create, um, you know, if someone answers this question or this is the response you'll get. And then if they answer that um, by doing, you know, so, something that it will go into a different series of messages. And so you can actually build your flows here inside of new flow, and then you can connect it to wherever it's going to go from the growth tool and so on and so on. So I know I'm probably going way over your head on the, on these uh, things um, depends on your market. And I, I have different flows created, especially for people in the real estate industry. I have different flows created for opt-in messages for affiliate marketing. Um, and so you can do all kinds of different really fun stuff here. So if you have any questions about many chat, about putting a chat, uh, widget on your website about creating uh, one to to promote an open house or a listing or a new home or um, to generate leads for your your podcast or a webinar. That's what what ManyChat does. It's really a fun program to use to generate leads, to capture leads, to put in uh, a system into your your business. If you have questions about ManyChat or would like to work with me further on creating a custom um, ManyChat uh, series, let me know. You can comment below. We can set up a time to chat. But that is it. That is the overview of ManyChat. There are different pro um, pro things that you need to do to to uh, to you know to generate leads. Like if you wanted to have it message you. Um, message you directly or have it zapped, have, have the leads zapped into a Google Doc. There's all kinds of things that you can do as well too. So, but I just wanted to do this video as an overview of ManyChat and things that you could do and some ideas. If you have any questions, you know where to get a hold of me. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Much love and aloha.